All right, and like you were saying earlier, I mean, sounds like it's going to be a beautiful day for Mother's Day, so oh, yeah. really great timing overall. I mean, last week was, it's crazy just the difference between what we were dealing with like two weeks ago compared yes. to what's coming. It's, it's like, about time. <laughs> you know, 40 with occasional snow showers mm -hmm. to almost 80 degrees by the end of this week. <laughs> yeah, it's Maine for you. It keeps yeah. it interesting. Oh, absolutely it does. <laughs> and I got to say, I'm happy that we are finally just enjoying a quiet week of weather, get caught up on some odds and ends. Yep. Gives me time to go through some data. I was pulling, I was going through uh, some of the numbers for average high temperatures. And we'll get to that in a second, but first, let's take a live look over Bar Harbor. Let's do it. It's a beautiful morning. I mean, okay. You're gorgeous like a bird out there. chirping outside of our studio <laughs> right now. It's getting distracting. It I'm almost like, sounds like that? it's in the studio. I know. I'm like a little worried. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> what a nice start to the day. And this is certainly setting the mood for what is going to be a beautiful day overall. Expecting a lot of sunshine out there today with temperatures climbing throughout the afternoon. And normally this time of year we see high temperatures in the low 60s. And by the time we get to the middle of the month, it's more like the mid 60s, maybe upper 60s for some parts of central Maine. Um, but by June 1st, we're closer to 70 degrees for average high temperatures in both Portland and Bangor. And notice the difference here is that April 1st, Portland is generally warmer than Bangor, which makes sense. Closer to the ocean, you've got milder winters, but by the time we get into this part of the year, especially May and June, where the sea breeze becomes a bigger factor for coastal forecasts, uh, that has an impact on what the average high temperature actually is. Today, I expect clouds, especially across southwestern and central Maine. These will linger for most of the day, but still expecting a lot of breaks of sunshine. North of this, though, there's going to be plenty of sun. Areas down east should get to enjoy quite a bit of sunshine, too. There's some thicker cloud cover that's starting to build across the mid coast. So this is all along a Route 1 stretching from Portland up through Bath, Wiscasset, Denver Scotta, up to Rockland, and now almost to Belfast, too. And that's going to just gradually kind of hang out throughout the morning and then this afternoon. Maybe it gets pushed south a little bit. It's going to be a great Mother's Day today, though. Certainly a little warmer inland than at the coast, but still fairly warm everywhere with high pressure in control all week long. Little to no rain expected this week. Each day gets warmer and warmer. By the time we get to the end of the week, it could be hot and muggy, especially by May standards. It looks like things are really going to quickly ramp up as we get into Thursday and Friday with temperatures approaching 70, if not 80 degrees. But that's not today. High temperatures today for most inland will be in the 60s at the coastline, likely topping out in the 50s. If you want to spend time outside with mom, you don't need to worry about umbrellas or anything like that. But I'd keep the jackets close by, especially once that sea breeze kicks up this afternoon. Tonight with clear skies and calmer winds, we should watch temperatures fall back down into the 30s. Some patchy frost to start off the day tomorrow. But again, each day we get a little bit warmer and with high pressure and control, we stay dry. Mostly sunny in the 60s tomorrow, mostly sunny in the 60s on Tuesday. Partly cloudy and in the 60s on Wednesday, maybe a couple of spots inland Wednesday can make it closer to 70 degrees. High pressure kicks that storm south and by Thursday we end up with temperatures approaching 70 degrees across most of Maine and our wind direction becomes a little favorable, a little more favorable rather to keep the sea breeze at bay. But I do just want to mention this over the next several days. We're going to have a lot of low humidity, uh, dead grass, leaves, twigs, things like that still out there and it could be a bit breezy at times and quite sunny. We haven't greened up entirely just yet, so fire danger is going to be a little bit elevated this week. But in general, I don't expect any big issues just because no day to me right now looks all that windy. Seas 4 to 6 feet today, wind coming out of the east 10 to 15 knots with small crafts in effect until tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast looking good though. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. It's a great day for you. 60s beginning tomorrow inland, upper 60s even, 70 by Wednesday, 77 Thursday, approaching 80 by Friday. And it's possible that I'm even undershooting those high temperatures just a bit for the end of the week. It really depends on wind direction, it comes down to how much sun we can actually get through. Maybe rain next Saturday or Sunday? Mm -hmm. It's a week out. I'll deal with that as we as we get and a little bit closer. After to it. what we're supposed to get this week, I think it's okay if we get like one shower. Yeah, I think we'll survive. We'll make it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike.